Have you ever wondered how the Quran intertwines with historical events? Well, it might surprise you to learn that the Quran is not just a religious text. In fact, it's also a chronicle, a record of events and personalities from different eras. Picture it as a rich tapestry woven with threads of history, each strand signifying a different time, a different place. From the dawn of civilization to the rise of empires, the Quran is a window into the past. It provides us with insights into the cultural, social, and political contexts of yesteryears. It's not just about spirituality or morality, but also about understanding the world and its history. It's a book that blends faith with facts, intertwining the sacred with the historical. It's a testament to the enduring power of narratives that transcend time, connecting us with our ancestors in a profound way. As we delve into the historical events mentioned in the Quran, prepare for a fascinating journey through time. Imagine an epoch when time itself was born, an era of nothingness suddenly ignited by an explosion of unimaginable power. This is the Quran's depiction of the creation of the universe, remarkably mirroring what we now know as the Big Bang Theory. The Quran, written over 14 centuries ago, details an event that aligns strikingly with this modern scientific concept. It speaks of a singular entity, a smokeless flame, that split apart to form the heavens and the earth. This concept of a unified singularity bursting forth to create the universe parallels the core premise of the Big Bang Theory. Moreover, the Quran's references to an expanding universe, a concept only recently confirmed by modern science, further attests to its timeless wisdom. It speaks of the heavens being spread out, an eloquent depiction of the universe's continuous expansion. The creation of the universe, as described in the Quran, sets the stage for the drama of human history. The Quran takes us on a journey back to the cradle of civilization. It's like our own personal time machine, whisking us away to the birthplaces of ancient societies and cultures, some of which have long since disappeared from the face of the earth. One such civilization is Ad, nestled in the sands of Arabia. The Quran speaks of Prophet Hud, who was sent to guide the people of Ad, a society known for its architectural prowess and advanced technology, but also for its arrogance. Despite Hud's warnings, the people of Ad were wiped out by a devastating storm, a tale that echoes through the ages as a cautionary note on the dangers of unchecked pride and arrogance. Then there's Tamud, another ancient Arabian civilization known for carving entire buildings out of mountainsides. Prophet Saleh was sent to them, and when they challenged him to produce a miracle, a she-camel appeared from the rock, a sign of divine intervention. But when the Tamud people harmed the camel, they faced divine retribution, and their civilization was lost to time. The Quran shares the compelling narrative of Moses and Pharaoh, a story that is also found in the Bible and corroborated by archaeological evidence. The existence of the Pharaoh during Moses' time is supported by numerous historical records, adding a layer of credibility to the Quranic narrative. And then, of course, there's the story of Joseph in Egypt. Not only does it provide a captivating narrative filled with intrigue and redemption, but it also offers a glimpse into the ancient Egyptian civilization. The Quranic account of Joseph's journey from being sold into slavery to becoming a trusted advisor to the Pharaoh is filled with details that align with what we know of the socio-political landscape of ancient Egypt. These narratives serve as time capsules preserving glimpses of civilizations that have long since vanished. They offer us a window into the past, a chance to learn from the triumphs and mistakes of those who came before us. And through these stories, the Quran asserts its place as a remarkable historical document, one that bridges the gap between faith and history. Fast forward to the seventh century, a time that would forever change the course of human history. In the heart of the Arabian Peninsula, a man named Muhammad was about to embark on a journey that would shape the world as we know it. Born in Mecca, Muhammad was a well-respected merchant known for his integrity. His life took a transformative turn when, at the age of 40, he received his first revelation from the angel Gabriel on Mount Hira. This marked the beginning of a 23-year-long divine discourse that would eventually form the Quran. The revelations were not met without resistance. 
Muhammad and his followers faced severe persecution in Mecca, leading them to migrate to the city of Medina. This migration, known as the Hijra, marked the start of the Islamic calendar and signified a turning point in the Islamic faith. In Medina, Muhammad established a state based on the principles of justice, brotherhood and equality. His leadership united the tribes of Arabia, leading to a community that transcended tribal affiliations and focused on a shared religious identity. After years of conflict with the Meccan leaders, Muhammad and his followers embarked on a journey back to Mecca. This culminated in the conquest of Mecca, a significant event that marked the acceptance of Islam in the city. Muhammad's return to Mecca was not one of vengeance, but of forgiveness, setting a precedent of mercy and compassion in the Islamic faith. The life of Muhammad, as depicted in the Quran, is a story of perseverance, unity and transformation. His experiences continue to resonate with billions around the world, shaping the principles and practices of the Islamic civilization. His life's journey from a merchant in Mecca to a beloved prophet is a testament to the transformative power of faith. From the first revelation on Mount Hira to the conquest of Mecca, Muhammad's life serves as a beacon for those seeking guidance and inspiration. His legacy continues to influence not just the Islamic world, but the course of human history as a whole. The life of Prophet Muhammad, as narrated in the Quran, is a testament to the transformative power of faith. From the creation of the universe to the rise of civilizations, the Quran weaves together a tapestry of historical events. This tapestry, intricate and complex, gives us insight into the past and presents a fascinating intersection of faith and history. We've traced the path of the universe's creation as depicted in the Quran and marveled at its alignment with modern scientific understanding. We've journeyed through ancient civilizations where the Quran's narrative intersects with archaeological finds and historical records. We've walked in the footsteps of prophets, including the life of Prophet Muhammad, his teachings and the indelible impact he left on our world. The Quran in its unique position as both a religious and historical text, validates its narratives through a wealth of archaeological and scientific evidence. This dual nature of the Quran enriches our understanding of history, bridging the gap between faith and fact. The Quran, in its historical context, is not just a book of faith, but a gateway to understanding our collective past.